In this chapter, I just want to give you a short teaser into the graphics capabilities of Setry. So what kind of uh, plot items and um, um, well figures you can create using Setry. Now, this is not going to be very comprehensive and I'm not going to show you how to do all of that. Just to show you the capabilities and point you to further resources where you can look this up if you need to um, program graphics in Setry. Setry offers graphics capabilities since version 3. And as you can see in this example, there is a number of things you can do. You can draw well text in different formatting. You can have um, boxes or, or rectangles and colorful lines and so on. And so many things or most things that I imagine that you want to that you would imagine that you could do in Setry, you can actually do might be a bit of work, but you can accomplish it. And I'm going to show you a few examples of demos that you that, that show what you can do. This is an example of the plot items you can use in Setry. So like you have text items, you can also define or implement plot items. And there are different types of plot items. There are points and depending on the settings you, um, you, you set in the plot item dialog, they can look, they can have basically different edges. So these have four no, no, edges or corners. These have four corners, this one as well, but it's, well, it has a different setting. Um, this one just has a lot of edges and that's why it looks like a circle. You can have different types of lines and you can have different types of rectangles and you can have pies, which can be full circles, but also just parts of a full circle. But to give you a better demonstration of the capabilities, I'm just going to show you in the next few slides the different uh, demo treatments that demonstrate what you can do. And those are going to be, and you will find them in the course material or uh, in my Setry resources online, the color triangle treatment, the move point demo, the select link demo, C draw, and the animated tree demo. If you want more information on graphics in Setry, check out the manual. The new manual is actually uh, rather good for that. And check out the Setry lecture by Maria Bigoni, which I've provided the link for here. If the link is outdated, which can of course happen, then just Google her and Google Maria Bigoni Setry and you will find her lecture notes, I believe. The color triangle demo just shows you that Setry can use colors and how you can use colors in Setry. So as you can see, it uh, draws this triangle of differently colored squares and you can specify um, the, the proportion of the different colors that you want to have in uh, the corners here. And if you click that, you see that this color has changed to 50% red, 30% green, 10% blue. And that's of course 50% of the total uh, red content, 30% of the total green content, so it's not, it should not sum to one. Um, and that gives this uh, brown or maroon color here. And then the rest, uh, the, the remaining colors are calculated as, um, well, as a, as a um, interpolation from this color to the other edge color. So if you change this to 50% uh, green, zero red, one blue, you see that everything uh, changes color here. The move point demo looks like a bit of a silly exercise. You can just click somewhere in this uh, box here and the yellow, well, the yellow circle here will, will follow where you click. But of course it illustrates that you can, well, draw a circle anywhere on screen, but it also tells you that you can um, register mouse clicks and where exactly they happen and make something in Setry happen in response to that. So you can exactly measure the coordinates where the mouse was clicked um, and adjust in this case the coordinates where the circle is drawn to this mouse click. And this can be used, for example, as a way of inputting information. So to let subjects click somewhere on a picture, for example, and to record where exactly they clicked at what time. In the select link demo, you see that, uh, well, you can draw differently formatted lines in Setry and uh, you can also see that if I click these green lines, nothing happens. But if you click the yellow lines, then I can select them. So I can choose certain yellow lines and for example, use this to 
input to, to let subjects choose, for example, a certain route to take if that is relevant for your experiment. So another form of graphical input, and you can also deselect these lines. Now this is C draw, where you can see if I click here, I can add um, points to the to the graph which are connected by um, lines. I can actually delete individual points if I click delete point and then choose a point and it's gone. It actually connects the other points. I can move points. Um, I can create a new object. I can delete objects and I can move entire objects. So again, this is, of course, this looks like a, a graphics program, not very sophisticated one, but it just illustrates some of the capabilities of what you can do with graphics in Cetri. Now, this is the Animate Tree demo, and I think that's, of course, by far the nicest Cetri demo, graphics demo, uh, because this, of course, is the set tree. And this is the tree in winter, uh, that's in spring, this is in summer, and this is autumn or fall. Now, isn't this nice, right? <laughs> but the nice thing is if you look in the code, you can actually um, set the fall probability for the individual leaves, the, the wind speed, and so on. So it's quite sophisticated what's going on here. Um, but in the end, uh, the effect is just that it's a, well, a, a nice little gimmick, I think.